Hi, I'm David, your developer on duty. Let's have a look at the release 2403 highlights of the Helix text editor. There's now a new jump mode inspired by the AMP editor. When you press GW, you'll see a display of labels of jump locations. If you enter the respective characters, your cursor jumps to the word under that label. So if I hit BH, for example, the cursor jumps to alert. You can also use it to extend your selection in visual mode. So let's go in visual mode using V and now I hit GW, AK and you can see it was extended. Helix already had support to add line comments using space C. Now you can also add block comments using space Shift C. As you probably know, Helix uses TreeSitter to parse the source code into an abstract syntax tree or AST in short. It uses this information, for example, for syntax highlighting. There's this nice command called tree sitter subtree, which displays the portion of the AST under the cursor. In Helix 2403, there's now support for injections, a tree sitter feature which allows you to properly handle multiple languages in one document. For example, in this HTML file, there's JavaScript inside. The HTML parser doesn't need to parse JavaScript. Instead, the JavaScript parser is used to handle the respective portion. We now have tree sitter motions. If you press option O, it expands the selection to the parent node. And option I shrinks it to the child node. You can also go to the siblings using option N or option P. There have also been a number of internal improvements. For example, they now use Tokyo channels for an event system. That means that different parts of the Helix code base can communicate with one another. This comes in handy for background tasks, which should never block the UI. Another improvement is the way regexes are handled. It now uses regex cursor, which can deal with strings where chunks are stored separately. This is the case for the document representation in Helix since ropes are used. But that's not all. You can see a list of all changes in the official change log. What's your favorite new feature? Please post it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.